は稲さん稲さんリオさん I'm alright but ハズキ先生 My father? Father, 
your friends. Keep friends, those you love, close to you. Uh, no. Father! No! Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuksan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks.
Ryo-san, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landi. What did he talk with my father about? Landi demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Hey. Hiya! Are you looking for something? Nothing really. Hmm? Hey, Joe! Hi, Megumi. Uh -oh. You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. <gasps> My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah. Everybody's helping out, too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? 
Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell. And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait! We gotta think of a name for the kitty! Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, y'all! Bye-bye. Excuse me. Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Excuse me. What is it, baby boy -dio? The day of that incident, did you see any men dressed in black suits? I don't have the time to fool with looking at men. I see. Did anything unusual happen that day? You again. With me, every day it's the same old routine. I see. Use your head, baby boy -dio. Yes.
Hey. Hey, mister! Let's play baseball! Some other time, okay? Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm... Maybe Sakura Gaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. I shouldn't visit without a reason. Um... Oh, hello, Ryao. Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. I don't think anybody's in. No one's home? Sumia-san. Hi, Ryo. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamakishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. Perhaps they're out? I don't think anybody's in. No one's home? I don't think anybody's in. No one's home? I don't think anybody's in. Thank <laughs> you. 
No one's home? I shouldn't bother them. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakuragaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Excuse me. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? Um, sorry. Can't talk now. Talk to you later. Excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. I've been too tired lately. Ask me later, will you? Um... Excuse me. I just can't now. Ask someone else, will you? Excuse me. Oh! Hi there! Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm too tired right now. Catch me later. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. those men in the black car. What? 
Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. All right, man, I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green, maybe velvet or silk, like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Who's the best person in town to ask about people from China? Hmm. Did you try over at Takichi's place? What? The owner of Ajiichi. Yes. They say old Takichi is a leader within the Chinese community. He might know something. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, Ryo. Gominasan, I need to find some people from China around here. Who is the best person to ask? Ah, well, you know that restaurant that does fabulous roasted pork? You mean Ajiichi? Yes, that's the one. Why don't you ask the owner? Good idea. Gominasan, about someone Chinese... The owner of... I'll ask him. Thank you.
Taosan. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Excuse me. You alone today? I didn't come to eat. Didn't come to eat? Got lots to do now. Kind of busy now. See you around, huh? Sure. Thanks anyway. Do you have a minute? Sorry, um, uh, sorry. Bye now. Akasaka. Hey, Ryo, what's up? Hey, I've got a pair of jeans that would be perfect for you. Wanna try some on? No thanks, maybe next time. I see. See you.
They're not open. Guess they're not open yet. Um, excuse me, but, um, uh, bye. Um, yes, Itoi-san, do you know about the three blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the three blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. Liu-san? That's right, over at the barber's. I see. But Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Jianmen. Is that so? Thank you. See you. Excuse me. Hello, Ryo. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? Which way is Dew Barber and Hair Salon? It's down the way past the hamburger place. Down past Funny Bear Burgers, right? I see. Thank you.
Excuse me. Yeah. Do you know where Dew Barber and Hair Salon is? Liu's. Ah, Liu Barber and the Hair Salon. I know it. It's next door to my apartment. Where's that? Down past the thrift store, you know, the Water Dragon 2. Down past Water Dragon 2, right? Got it. Thank you. One game, 100 yen. Come on, kid! I'll try it.
Yeah, a winning can. Minako-san. What? Um... Oh, Ryo? People from a travel magazine were here. Dobuita might become famous. Yeah. Minako-san. Um... Oh, Ryo? The other day, a famous person came in here. I can't remember her name, though. I see. help you? This. Come again, Ryo. Excuse me. Yes? What is it? Can you tell me the way to Dew Barber and Hair Salon? Liu? Never heard of it. The one I know is across the street from the arcade. It's called Maida Barber Shop, I believe. I see. Uh... Yes? Something else? Uh-uh. Excuse me. You have to leave now. Bye.
It's closed. One hundred yen each. I should buy one. This is cool! Maybe I should get another. Great! Maybe I should get another. I'll pass. Ichiro, hey bro. Got a second? What's up? Where's you barber and hair salon? Liu? Hair salon? Uh, where was it? Sorry, can't remember. I see. See ya. You're still so tiny. You look good. <laughs> hey, see you soon. <laughs> 